Well, welcome back to Brian Basketball. Here we are for episode uh, 24 of the HGA Lottery. We are currently uh, two wins against 22 losses. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and take a quick look. It is uh, June the 18th. It's 7.41. I wanted to log in a little early to show you a little something here. Uh, let's take a look at this right over here. I got an email today. So we're going to have a reveal video coming up here pretty soon. At least they're graded. Right? That first order. Now that was on a 20 day. Oh, come on. Don't be messing with me now. There we go. We'll get you back around here. I'm sorry about all the wobbling. I probably should just pause them. But you know what? I talk through all my videos, and if I try to, I don't do any editing anyway. Y'all know that. It's all from the hip. It's from what's going on in the world right now, what's going on in my life, uh, my feelings towards the hobby, what I'm thinking this is going to all work out as. But uh, you know what? Everyone that tunes in, everyone that comments is part of my story. And once you see everything that comes out in the end of all of this, and uh, the, my early viewers, uh, my early subscribers, they, they saw a lot of my stories, and uh, some of those videos are still up. I removed some of them because they were pretty personal. And uh, I mean, uh, they, they were touching home with me and my, the missus, and uh, but anyway, I'll go back over that in the future because you know what? I think my story's worth worthy of a movie. You'd have no idea, have no idea how crazy the true story is. The fact that me and my wife opened cards instead of going out on dates when we dated and sleeved them <laughs> on date nights. And I bought all the boxes from the same guy. I've been talking to him. He's still alive. He's still around. He still has a card shop. But he shut down the one that I was going to all the time. And he just now, well, he didn't just now. He always had one down in Norman, but it was his dad's. And it had nothing to do with him. And I never thought about even driving all the way over there. It's a ways from where I live. So for me to go to my LCS, it's sort of like uh, how flipping Steve is. You know, it's a haul. I gotta go through a turnpike, guys, to go to my local card shop. The one I wanna talk to and deal with. But anyway, we got some movement here. We got five cards on their way, getting, they're, they're graded. I guess I'll get another notification when they say they're slabbed, I don't know. I never clicked that view and I didn't open the email, so I have no idea. Well, here we go. 744. Should I do it right on the right on the second again? Should I do it right on the second again? Yeah. Make another man sing. Here we go. Bang. I think that's pretty close, guys. What y'all think? Let's see what happens tonight. I got nine cards loaded. Y'all don't know what they are either. Y'all have to wait around to see for that reveal. And we'll go and see how we think that they would grade out. How about that? I think that's going to be a pretty fun video when it comes back, when those cards come back, because I don't know where I'm at on them. Where do y'all, where did y'all end up on them? Did y'all watch that video? No one's mentioned in the comments, but I'm hoping that, so, uh, what I'm hoping is that people actually 
will will notate you know what they think the thing is going to grade out as those cards because think about it you you, you get the opportunity to it's like a, a free free roll of the dice but on my money but for free and you know what I don't know I might lose on every one of those cards who knows All right who knows but anyway I don't like to make these videos long I'll go ahead and pause it and uh, come back when we're ready to launch in there appreciate y'all stopping back by oh yeah by the way I Y'all know this is happening during the, the Hawks and 76ers game, guys. <laughs> I've, I've got, I'm recording it. I'm, Trey Young had 17 points when I started the, the production of this high dollar video. But anyway, let the good times roll, guys. Hey, guys, one thing I was thinking about, start thinking about uh, which two of those first five cards that I should go ahead and just put right up when, when they come in and we reveal them and uh, once we see them I'm gonna pick two of them up and I'm gonna immediately take some pictures of them and put them up there on eBay I'm not gonna auction them but I'm gonna price them at the same price of whatever a PSA at that same grade is and see see how long it takes to sell and I'm thinking those two, those two cards should be able to pay off that entire order. So I need to get two cards that pay for 180 bucks. And on that second order of nine that was shipped off that they're going to get next week and start grading on a on a 60 day, uh, those I'm thinking that I pick two or three of those to sell and the rest to keep until the prices come back. Or just for my PC, guys. <laughs> and get some free graded cards to sell those other ones. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm not ready to retire. I might be about to, but you know what? My company's being good to me right now. And heck, I, there's no sense for me to quit working as long as I can do this right here. Still have my little hobby of doing this and get the cards graded, get them, get them sold, you know, or just break even on the on the whole transactions and, and put three or four away graded for down the road, say another ten years. Who knows? You know, th these things are LeBron James rookies that I'm doing. Think ten years from now, after he owns everything, or maybe he's the president of the United States. Or, or some of his rookie bobbleheads that I have. I've got some of these mini bobbleheads that are really cool. <laughs> I'm going to keep him for a long, long time. Oh, something else, guys. We still got six minutes. I'm just coming up with thoughts that I've been thinking about telling y'all. Uh, how about collecting any of the L.A. Lakers' last NBA title? with LeBron James any of those I've, I've got multiple sets of that in the box I, that was one of the first things I bought when I come back into the hobby I went to Panini set up an account and I bought them <laughs> I got them on sale too and and I know that it's a 30 card set but I think a lot of people opened them up and tried to grade that one or two cards of uh, LeBron that's in them because they'll pay for the box, but keep the box, just put it away. If you can get them at a decent price, I don't, I don't know. You know, I'm thinking uh, if they don't win another championship in 20 more years, guys, the Bus family is running out of steam. Either either LeBron James is gonna buy, is either gonna buy. Oh my goodness! Come on! Oh my! Either LeBron James is gonna buy that team, and that's the only way that they're gonna keep him there. Watch, guys! Watch how this plays out. Him and Magic, Magic Johnson. 
I think eventually the league will be owned by the players. Completely. They dominated it. They populated it, made it popular. They helped spread it worldwide. It's a sport that can be played during any time of the year. It doesn't take that many people to play it. Uh, it it's only soccer can get it in popularity and about the ease of someone being able to play it. But, I mean, as far as just the price to get into playing it. Because it doesn't take much. But anyway, guys, I'm rambling. Come back in three minutes and 52 seconds. Well, Rick Casey just said he don't mind me coming here wasting all of his time in a song, so. <laughs> Neither do I, Rick. But how about this, guys? I put up a video on Ricky, uh, that Ricky cards of Rui Hashimoto showing proof of the movement of PSA in the pop reports. Because, and uh, one of the things that I did, oh, heck, hold on a second. Hey guys, I was just going to show you right fast. This is something that's in that other video. Let me get back over there and shut this down. Let me see. We got two minutes and 19 seconds. We can keep a shot on it right here. Uh, but this is research that I did on, on May. If you have any of these cards, you want to see what the pop report was on them. But this is just for Rui Hashimoto. But I would suggest grab your cards, the one you bought or the one you own. And go ahead and start you up a spreadsheet. But I, I've made one video on this. And what I was going to do is I didn't scroll through the whole this whole spreadsheet before on that video. And I realized it once I watched it. I'm like, gosh, that was so long of a video. I wish I, I probably need to start editing these things. But see, look, I've got the autographs. This, this was from back then, guys. This is what the prices were. I even did uh, snapshots of it. Uh, see? Showing how much I paid for it. I mean, or the last time it was sold. And then we go on down here. I have some of that. We got a minute and 12 seconds still. And you go on down through here. I, I've got pictures and everything of the cards. Never sold. And then I'm, let me get on down here at the bottom. See, I, I added more to this before. See, this is old stuff. See, I, I, I didn't think I should have scrolled down through here. Now, now, see, I updated this today. And this, this is gr brand new screenshots. So, a month from now, we can come back and see on these cards exactly what the pop changes have been. But, anyway, here we go. We got 35 seconds. I'm going to close that down. Here we go. Hope nothing screwed up by me opening that up. Now you come on now. I was about to pause it for 20 seconds, but golly. Waiting on the outside. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, that's good. Did we get in? Oh, let's see. No. It would have to be... Well, I don't know. I don't know how many... Is everyone doing nine cards? That, that's some money. That's a chunk of money. I tell you what. Ah, oh, the game's on, guys. I got it recording. Jeez. That's 18,000. Is 18,000? Probably no. No, it's uh, geez, I'm sitting here trying to do it in my head, guys. I ought to pull up a calculator. We all know, we, we know it's way never mind. It, it, but if, only, if people are only doing five cards, only had it set up for five, we'll see. I'll pause it. I'll, I'll stay around for a minute or two. I'll come back in before I decide to end the video. Well, 
Yeah, I'm going to go back and watch the game, guys. But until next week, next Tuesday, come back. We'll give another throw. They're 23 and we're two. So, uh, I don't know. All right, odds, I guess, so far. Uh, we'll see. Worse than batters. <laughs> and them pistols are firing. <laughs>